It's Jamie again. It is day nine. I am here at another one of my beautiful and favorite uh, free note installations for outdoor musical instruments. Anyway, I'm checking in today. Checking in today. Today's day nine. It's a great mastery number, so it's a good number and a good day to review what this series has really been about. If this is the first one that you're joining us for, it'll be a good recap. Anyway, I invite you to certainly start from day one and take 30 days in your own life to run through a process of healing distortions for love in your own lives as I'm doing for mine. I set my intention nine days ago that I was going to take on in my own body's physiology, within my heart, within my mind, within my nervous system, I was going to take on those subconscious patterns that were still operating me and blocking my ability to receive love. Since love is really all there is, if you chase it up to, car, to core creator source, love is all there is. If I'm not receiving things in my life, the things that are out of balance, like eh, my finances right now are out of balance, my ability to feel freer and my ability to be me and know that the world, the universe, my communities, my relationships support the work that I am born and destined to do because I know what that is. And it's time now that my finances reflect that. It's time that anything that I've had blocks and distortions in me that I haven't already identified, I want those distortions healed so that my receiving channels are open. And if I have blocks about receiving love or anything, and it, I also have distortions about how I'm giving it and that, uh, love and anything in my life, well, then there's an imbalance there, and that imbalance is projected from my inner reality into my external reality. That is why those things that I want of the world and in my life, that, that I want to come to me, if they're not coming to me and settling in my life in the way that I feel more freedom, more love, more balance, more support from the universe, the world, from creator, from this earth, from my life, my community, <laughs> that's because there's still distortions operating in me that can't let the good that's coming to me penetrate and come into my life and be a direct manifestation. This is utilizing the law of consciousness at its highest. In order to utilize the law of consciousness at its highest, we have to actually go back like spiritual avatars and lovingly rotor rooter through a process of love, alchemy, of compassion and forgiveness by identifying and reflecting on those very areas of our life that are stagnant, blocked, limited, or have never received this information about how to really receive and give love without being in some way distorted through a pattern or actually thousands of patterns that we've all learned in our lives that have become behaviors and become reactionary um, doing this, is, for lack of a better word. Let's bust through that. Join me on this series as we heal these distortions to love. Start over at day one if you haven't started, but let's Let's just start, you can start anytime. And then I have the release process that's also available on my Facebook page for this series as well. It's also available on YouTube. So anyway, I love you all. Thank you for doing your work on this. Thank you for healing distortions to love and being greater love in this world. Continue to join me on this video blog. I'll be creating my blogs next from Moab. I'm bound now for some time in Moab along the Colorado River. And then I'll be coming back here to this Harmony Parks Free Notes headquarters where I'll be able to play with more of these instruments as well. Plus we've loaded the car up with a whole bunch of them. We're never without musical tones. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for this brave journey of healing distortions within you to become more love.